So we have a 65 year old woman here who dies six months after uh, onset of severe headaches, a brain autopsy is shown. So reading the last line here, what is the most likely, most likely cell of origin of this neoplasm? What do you think is this neoplasm shown here and where is the neoplasm? So this is the brain shown from the under surface and this is where you are seeing a tumor here right in the interhemispheric fissure though frontal lobes ke beech mein is where you are seeing the tumor here so this tumor is basically extra axial right this is an extra axial tumor which is which is meningioma okay which is meningioma right so yeah the origin for meningioma is going to be meningeal origin it is going to be meningeal origin so look at the classical history given here it's a woman meningioma is more common in females as compared to males because it is progesterone receptor positive right and it is extra axial tumor well defined tumor that you see here this is not a glioma glioma is an intra axial tumor in the brain parenchyma meningioma on the other hand is intra axial or extra axial meningioma coming from the meninges is going to be an extra axial tumor what sign do you see radiology ct mri remember meningioma which are the meninges dura is the meninges it is the dural tail sign that we see another important uh, question tell me that meningioma is generally benign or malignant more so it's a it's generally a benign tumor like many times a female would have it and not even know it until the imaging is done because of headache or something so generally it is a benign tumor right and the next point to be remembered that it causes hyperostosis or it causes the bone erosion. So if this is a meningioma overlying the bone here, does it cause the bone erosion or does it cause the hyperostosis? So the concept here, a tumor which is slow growing, which is there for a long time, causes the sclerosis of the bone, the hyperostosis of the bone. A tumor like metastasis, which is fast growing, causes the erosion of the bone. So remember, it causes hyperostosis, previously asked point. And very good, Karthik, yes, it, it also shows calcification. So do we see samoma bodies here? Yes, we see samoma bodies here. In which uh, thyroid tumor we see uh, samoma? Papillary, ovarian serous, then you have meningioma, mesothelioma, right? These tumors show samoma body. So the answer here is meningeal. Astrocyte is going to be the cell of origin for glioma. Endothelial is for the vessel. So a tumor like hemangioblastoma. Okay, a tumor like hemangioblastoma, which is seen in which syndrome? It is seen in von Hippel-Lindau, H for H. Remember, hemangioblastoma is seen in von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. Is this clear with everyone, guys? So, I've got this image for you to show this tumor, which is extra axial, vividly enhancing tumor and showing this dural tail sign. Okay, it is showing this dural tail sign that we are seeing here. So, a quick snippet in your fast five, a snippet, fast snippet, that is first aid simplified teaching. So, common tumor, it's typically benign okay females are affected more and it is extra axial not intra axial it has a dural tail sign right the treatment is resection or radio surgery radio surgery basically means we can do a gamma knife treatment okay we can do a gamma knife treatment for meningioma okay we can do radio surgery that is gamma knife from where is it originating the arachnoid cell origin spindle cells which are concentrically arranged in a world pattern that is and also the samoma bodies laminated calcifications that is samoma bodies are seen here 